This is the future. Believe it or not, there are still plenty of weapons that I haven't farmed in the game. Starting from those mastery rank fodder weapons to those unexpectedly great weapons in Warframe, and today, we will be discussing one of those surprisingly good weapons that I am foolish enough to farm early in Warframe. So, the weapon I am talking about is a primary weapon named the Meat Shredder. No, this is not the meat you are thinking of and, the real name of this gun is Kuva Chakhar. In case you are wondering how did I manage to rename my Kuva weapon, then just visit Rudzud in Fortuna to rename any of your favorite weapon. So, Kuva Chakhar is a unique Kuva flintlock styled rifle. It fires explosive rounds that deal immense damage, even more so on headshots, at the expense of a low fire rate, slow reload speed, and limited ammo reserves. Long story short, this primary, in paper, has lots of negatives, and the only positive is it does insane damage, the gun is slow in terms of fire rate and reload, and there are certain parts of it, especially modding with galvanized mods that is not that great. Kuva Chakhar scales off of 49 base damage with galvanized status mods, but it does work well with galvanized scope and galvanized chamber, which is also the most interesting part of the weapon. Okay, let me explain it further so you would understand how this weird primary turns to be an insane Kuva weapon that you must dry. First of all, it deals mainly impact damage. Because of its guaranteed impact procs and slow fire rate, the Kuva Chakar is well suited to use internal bleeding, which allows you to deal bleed damage constantly with this weapon. In addition, direct shot deals 50% more headshot damage and the plus 50% bonus damage on headshots is additive to other sources of plus bonus damage on headshots such as primary deadhead and Devara's prowl ability. Aside from that, there's also a special mechanic which shots can explode in a 2.9 meter radius after impacting a surface or enemy. The explosion can benefit from prime fire storm, and explosion does not need direct line of sight to deal damage and will penetrate walls. Not to mention that the insane critical chance could make this weapon a potential idol and hunter. Best part is, this comes with an additional bonus impact, heat, cold, electricity, toxin, magnetic, or radiation damage, based on the Kuvalich's progenitor Warframe, which increases the listed base damage of the weapon by 25% to 60%. Overall, the weapon is extremely powerful as it can deal massive bleed procs in an area, and it hits like a truck even against steel path to level cap enemies. There are a couple of ways to mod this gun, but probably, the best in slot of star chart missions is the internal bleeding mod. Almost every shot will proc slash then bleed with this gun, and the bleed damage per tick is insane. A good way to use it is to pair it with faction mods to further boost the bleed damage. Raw can also increase the bleed damage of the weapon, and it's great when paired with a faction mod but, this is optional, and you can use this slot to replace between faction mod, galvanized scope, or even prime fire storm. Remember, galvanized scope is not needed when you have a critical chance buff ability like smoke shadow from ash, teeming virulence from Nidas, or even harrow's critical buff from covenant. This is by far the most unexpected Kuva weapon I ever used in the game. It's unique and powerful, and I can't wait to try it out with a few setup. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.